Well, 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 it's been a long time since we did this. But after the storming Godzilla vs. Kong that shook the Hollywood charts despite the pandemic, we thought, why not? I mean, this is what we always do, right? Yes, comparing sizes. Without wasting much time, let's measure the largest monster vs. monsters so far. Number 10. Muto. Female. 300 feet. Kicking off this list are the very intelligent, agile, and immensely physically strong beasts that first went up against the Big G in the 2014 film, the crazy-looking Mutos. According to me, I feel like Legendary's first villains were definitely a big boost to the sequel. These guys look bizarre with dangerous hook-like claws that enable them to hack and stab at opponent titans, even strong enough to draw blood from Godzilla when they battle him. And that kiss of death by Godzilla is still the finest battle scene to date. To go along with their massive sizes, they even have some crazy abilities and are pretty powerful too. The male was a bit shorter with approximately 200 feet and the female around 300 feet. Oh yeah, and not to forget there was also an approximately 280 foot Muto 3 in Kings of the Monsters 2. Well sadly, he really didn't do much. Number 9. Methuselah. 322 feet. The problem with Monsterverse though, I think they could have done so much more with guys like Methuselah. I mean look at this beast. This giant animal plant rock hybrid Daikaiju has a forest growing on his rocky and mountainous back. With white eyes that have no pupils and a mouth with large razor sharp teeth. Other than waking up from his slumber due to the call of the new alpha, unfortunately that was pretty much it. Now, the actual size proportions of the ancient monster still remain a mystery because we really haven't seen much on-screen action from him. But because Methuselah is quadrupled, he might very well be much larger in reality. You see, most terrestrial creatures are measured at shoulder height, so you can imagine why even official size figures can be deceptive, especially for this titanic beast. Number 8. Scylla. 341 feet. Another unnecessary inclusion featured in the lowest ranking MonsterVerse movies, King of the Monsters, with just a mere 48 seconds of screen time, we have the gigantic squid-like body with six incredibly long spider-like legs, Scylla. Well, you can see more of her in the Godzilla Dominion graphic novel. The first time I saw the Hollow Earth Arachnid, I really thought there were some baby Scyllas out there. Come on, who else did? Well, I did like the design. I mean, I've been waiting for a Kumonga-like creature in the MonsterVerse, and I just wish I saw more of it in action. Number 7. King Kong MonsterVerse 337 feet One of the first kaiju ever to be introduced to the screen as early as 1933 also happens to be Hitler's favorite movie character. Yes, Hitler was a big fan of the Big Monkey, and there have been different incarnations of Kong throughout the century, resulting in the largest and best version, Kong 2021. Now the King of Hollow Earth, who actually have grown all the way to a whopping 337 feet from his last 104 feet Skull Island incarnation. Number 6. Behemoth. 354 feet. Take a bow for it's the mighty behemoth, a colossal 90,000-ton kaiju who although isn't very well equipped for combat, but is exceptionally durable. I say this because his fur is fireproof and he can also attack with his claws when standing on his hind legs, if needed. As far as appearances go, behemoth seems to be a mammoth who lacks a trunk and has the body of a megatherid. Behemoth is a protector and the official cryptid profile of this majestic creature says it all. Likewise, another crazy looking kaiju could have done so much more, other than just walking away lost in the city. I just hope MonsterVerse will bring back all these kaiju and put them into a combat. Number 5. Titanus Jinsen Mushi, Muto Prime, 340 to 370 feet. This one wasn't featured in any of the movies but appears in the graphic novel Godzilla Aftershock, and according to the descriptions there, Muto Prime is the parent superspecies to the Mutos, and this monstrosity can actually create massive earthquakes. Yes, actual earthquakes. 
known to be the strongest, largest, and baddest muto the world has ever seen. To make this possible, the 135,000-ton Super Titan possessed tremor-inducing legs, which sound pretty freaking cool. I mean, just by slamming the ground with her forelimbs, Muto Prime could trigger shockwaves that would destabilize nearby fault lines in the Earth. Number 4. Godzilla 2019 393 feet Godzilla, the undisputed king of the monsters, hardly needs an introduction. With Kong's size being integrated, many of us thought Godzilla's size was a sure hell yeah! But 2014's version was around 355 feet, and the 2019's Godzilla was about 393 feet. So judging the arithmetic progression, I personally estimated a 410 to 420 feet Godzilla this year. Listen up, Legendary Pictures. I don't care about what you do with other monsters, but Godzilla will always grow. Please keep that in mind. There is nothing much different about our Big G other than his atomic breath. And yeah, it seems he can also charge stuff these days. Number 3. Warbats – Godzilla vs. Kong – 900 to 1400 feet The Warbats, yeah, they really took the screen out of me this year. A fresh piece of art by Legendary. Everything about them shoved my brains. From the entry to the defeat knowing the most underrated battle of all monsters. Remember guys, Kong was just as thin of a slick to get blocked out of air. And Dr. Nathan Lin's command executed this scene really well. Turns out to also be the longest creature in the Monsterverse. Number 2. Mecha Godzilla, 440 to 460 feet. I was imagining a more hybrid techno touch to the design, but Monsterverse seems to get Mecha G right in the butter. The pure mechanical approach stems from the true meaning of the hype, Mechanical Godzilla. The build in this was absolutely raw. Brute force and agility marks the end of an era. So, the scriptwriter went out of all the possible ways to turn Mecha G down, and he thought, why not bring him down by spilling something like you know? Drinks. And everyone were like, great idea! Yeah, turns out once again, you can create a waterproof beast, but not a waterproof control room. Like how can you be so careless, Apex? Size-wise was also correct to go against two alphas on a handicap match. Number 1. King Ghidorah 2019, 521 feet So Ghidorah is still the unbeatable kaiju size-wise. This alien monster was around 521 feet tall. That's like 5 to 6 times the Statue of Liberty with a wingspan of more than a thousand feet. Therefore, we shall also want a mechanized version of this monster. Recently, we made an animation of how MonsterVerse's Mechagodora version should or could look like in the future releases. Do check out our design and the ultimate battle against Mecha King Ghidorah. So that was all for today, folks.